Hi, and welcome to Living Saskatchewan. I'm Shirley McQueen. Today, we're in Buena Vista Beach, and this is the home and studio of ceramic artist Jody Greenman Barber. She's going to give me a lesson in pottery today. So, I'll get my hands dirty. You'll get a good laugh. We'll check in with our pet enthusiast, Gita Nad Carney. Something smells fishy. We'll learn about instilling manners in our kids. And while I go find Jody, you can check in with Chef Rob Fuller. The final of his gluten-free recipes is a delicious apple caramel dessert. Hot cans. Welcome back. We're in Jody's ceramic art studio. She's giving me a pottery lesson. I've traded places with her. I've put on the smock and I'm about to do the throwdown. All right. The smack down. <laughs> Woo. That's good aim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I start driving too, right? That's I should right. get my hands wet. You first. should get your hands wet, yeah. Okay. And, and on the sponge. Sponge like you had. Mm -hmm. Okay, so So you want the wheel to be going fairly fast. Fairly fast. Oh mm, okay. Just keep it steady. It should take me what a couple minutes to sort of get this down, I guess. Yeah. Oh, oh Yeah, you oh. definitely want to, <laughs> to start off with you want to stabilize your arms on your leg oh, okay. or right into your hips so All that right. you can use your body to apply pressure and uh, maybe use this part of your hand here and push the the All clay right. to the wall over there. All right. And have the wheel going fairly fast fairly and fast. keep it steady. Yeah. So even a little bit faster. There you go. Okay. Now take your right hand and push down before you lose it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just I'll see. Yeah, okay. Push and push down, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I'm getting a real wa Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, you're dancing now on the wheel. <laughs> your <laughs> your arms are all over the place, and the clay goes all over the place. This is harder than it looks. Yeah. You know, you see people do, you think, oh, that's pretty easy. Yeah. Well, oh. it usually takes my students about three or four weeks before they <laughs> catch on to just the idea of centering. Okay. So. Well, while I master centering. Let's check out fair trade shopping. You may have seen the labels on goods for purchase, and I first noticed it on coffee. Perhaps you did too. Fair trade shopping is an alternative to the conventional marketplace, and today we discover exactly what fair trade means, what kinds of products are available, and the benefits to this approach to shopping. Well, a few years ago, I did a couple of dives down in the Caribbean and had a grand time. So I thought, I would really like to know how to dive in Saskatchewan, but is that an oxymoron? No, Brad from Planet Scuba said, right? That's right. Hi. How you doing? I'm fine. All right, Brad's going to teach me what I need to know to scuba dive in Saskatchewan. If you have any pre-existing conditions that show up in our medical questionnaire, our medical history questionnaire, you should actually see a physician before you go in and try scuba diving. Now we've already gone through the medical questionnaire and uh, determined that I'm healthy enough to do this. Mm -hmm. So now it's all about the equipment, right, for point number two? Yes. What do I need? What you need is snorkeling equipment, scuba equipment, and exposure protection. You already have the exposure protection on. And then the This tank. is the scuba unit. A scuba unit has three main components to it. The first component being the tank that holds the air, compressed air is what we use. We also have a buoyancy control device. That's a jacket that you're gonna wear that will help you either right. sink or float, depending upon what state of buoyancy you wanna be in the water. And the regulator delivers the air to you at what we call ambient pressure. Ambient pressure means surrounding pressure so that you can breathe underwater at whatever depth you wanna go down to. Okay, well, shall we go get in the water? Absolutely. Sounds good. In an open water environment. For all the fun this is, and I'm having a blast, there's a lot of external stimuli, stimuli there's a lot of information, so it does pay to take proper lessons and, and get properly trained before you attempt this. Definitely. Okay, well, let's practice. Let's practice. All right, woohoo! <laughs> Welcome to Living Saskatchewan, your guide to better living on the prairies. I'm Shirley McQueen. Ladies, coming up, the do-it-yourself repairs on the road when there's no man around. We'll show you how. And all this week on the show, I'm doing fun craft activities. Today, I'm here with Tina Kaderma. She's the quilt lady. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. You are going to show me how to quilt. Absolutely. All right. What's the first thing we need to know? Fabric. Yeah. Um, you can go to your local store or you can use stuff around the house. I've got a beautiful selection of fabric that we're gonna use to make a traditional quilt called log cabin. Log cabin? So would you use a specific uh, fabric like a cotton or something for that? Can you use different, can you mix and match in the same quilt? 
it's better that you don't. Right. If you use 100% good quality quilting cotton, you get a better result. But there's no reason why you can't use your children's clothing or old bedding or anything that you might have lying around and cut those up into little tiny squares and triangles and make a beautiful project out of it. Just like these you've got here. That's right. Well, you know, it's a great way to recycle, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, John from Go Green Recycling is going to show us how it works and the advantages to using this type of service today on Living Green. Welcome back to Living Saskatchewan, your daily guide to living life better here on the prairies. I'm Shirley McQueen, and I'm getting a quilting lesson today from the quilt lady, Tina Kaderma. Tina, we finally reached the actual quilting process, right? Yes, that's that we have. So what we do, it's all computerized. I'm just going to turn it on. I'm going to do a quick go, and then I'm going to let you have a go. Okay. All right. <laughs> so here we go. We turn it on, and we just follow the line, just like we're drawing with a pencil. And whatever motion I make with the machine, it comes out to me. And as with anything, it takes some practice. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to help guide you. Okay. Just put your hands on the uh, handles. And when you're ready, you can go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, oh. I'm going yep. up now. Across. And across. And around. Swoop around there. Come back there. up and you're going to go to your bow and make your circle. Oh, well, I can see how this would certainly get addictive. And then you would just keep on going. All the way down. All the way down. Wow. Well, I, I'm having so much fun <laughs> and soon I'll be able to do one just like this with your Swarovski crystals, right? Absolutely. <laughs> We all have our own motivations for getting involved in the activities that we like. For some families, the priority is music. Here are some great reasons to give your kids a musical education. Well, I'm looking forward to getting my son on the drums or maybe guitar. I haven't quite decided yet. But okay, we have finished the quilting process. Correct. So once we're done quilting, we would take it off the frame. And then we would do the final step, which would be the binding, which, believe it or not, is the only thing still done by hand. You sew to the top, you turn and finish with loving stitches by hand, and that completes the quilt. Thank you, Tina. You're welcome. You must feel a real sense of accomplishment every time you complete a quilt. <laughs> Absolutely. It's been wonderful. Thank you for joining us as well on Living Saskatchewan. I'm Shirley McQueen. We'll be back again tomorrow at 1. Have a great afternoon.